Hello Grade 7 Learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pala sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. So for today's video lesson, I will be teaching you how to draw an angle using a protractor. So this is a protractor. So a protractor is a tool that is used to measure an angle. So, mapapansin nyo sa ating protractor, meron siyang uh, numbers. So, ito yung ating uh, measurement ng ating angle. So, yung nasa inner arc natin, 0 going to 180 degrees. So, yung ating block. So, that is for a counterclockwise. So, if we are going to draw an angle, starting here, 0 degree, so, ang gagamitin natin ay itong nasa loob, yung black. So, for a counterclockwise na movement tong isang ray ng angle. So, yung kabaliktaran naman, yung nasa pinakalabas. So, from 0 going to 180 degrees, yung red natin. So, that is for a clockwise. And then, makikita nyo yung ito yung pinaka-center natin. Dito natin ilalagay yung pinaka-vertex ng ating angle. So, ituturo ko muna sa inyo kung paano mag-draw ng angle wherein uh, the angle is less than 180 degrees. Kasi iba yung uh, process natin kapag siya ay reflex angle. So, uh, you can use pen or pencil much better kung pencil ang gagamitin nyo para maburan nyo pa siya or para hindi kayo magkamali. So, let me say, you are asked to draw 48 degrees. So, how can you draw a 48 degrees angle using a protractor? So, to draw an angle using a protractor, you need to follow the following steps. Okay? So, the first step, you need to draw a straight line. Okay, so let, let us draw a straight line. So, we have here a straight line. And then, place a dot at one end of the arm. So, this dot represents the vertex of the angle. So, this will be the vertex of the angle. And then, we need to place the center of the protractor at the vertex dot and the baseline, baseline of the protractor along the arm of the angle. So, ilalagay daw natin itong uh, protractor dito sa line wherein yung pinaka-vertex natin ay itatapat natin dito sa pinaka-gitna. Okay. So, wherein yung line dapat ay nakatapat dito sa may zero. Ulitin ko, tanggalin ko. So, ilalagay natin yung pinaka-vertex sa center, then yung line ay nakatapat dito sa zero. Then, after that, find the required angle on the scale and then mark a small dot at the edge of the protractor. Since we're looking for the measurement of 48 degrees, so dito tayo titingin sa inner scale natin. So, ito yung 40. Then, ito yung 50. So, hahanapin natin yung 48. So, ito yung 50. So, ito yung Yan. So, ito yung 48. Okay? So, again, dito tayo titingin. So, it should be exact. And then, after that, join the small dot to the vertex with a ruler to form the second arm of the angle. So, ito na rin yung gagamitin ko. So, protractor na rin yung gagamitin natin to connect the two points. And then, label the angle with capital letters. So, we can use capital letters or ilagay natin ng, na lang natin sa loob yung measurement. So, this is a 48 degrees 
angle. So, kapag nilagyan natin siya ng label, let me say this is A. So, we can say that M measure angle A equals 48. Ayan. So, measure angle A equals to 48. So, hindi na natin nilagay yung degree symbol since meron na tayo ditong salitang measurement. Or kaya naman, or the other way around, or angle A equals 48 degrees. So, let's have another example. Okay, so let's have another example. Let us say, we need to draw an angle that measures 110 degrees. So again, first step natin, we need to draw a straight line. So, ito yung ating straight line. And then, ito yung ating vertex. And then, we need to place uh, the protractor dito sa ating dinarawing na line. Then, yung pinaka-center niya. So, ilalagay natin dito sa may vertex. And then, dapat katapat ng zero degree. And then, titignan natin yung pinaka-inner scale niya. So, zero, 110. Ito. Katapat ng 70. Okay. And then, we're going to connect the two points. Ayan. So, 110 degrees. So, let me say we have here A, B, C. So, we can say that measure angle A, B, C equals to 110 or angle ABC equals to 110 degrees okay for our next example so what if the given angle that we are going to draw is more than 180 degrees and that is classified as a reflex angle. So, how are we going to draw that kind of angle? So, let me say, we need to draw an angle that measures 273 degrees and that is a reflex angle. So, first, we need to draw a straight line. And then, please take note of the vertex or the center in the given uh, line. So, nag-drawing tayo ng straight line, then, tinake note lang natin yung pinaka-center. So, dito, tinapat natin siya sa gitna ng protractor. So, ito yung pinaka-center. So, ito yung ating vertex. Since, yung straight line ay nagme-measure ng 180 degrees. So, we need to uh, subtract it from the given angle which is 273 degrees. So, minus natin. So, we have 273 degrees minus 180 degrees. So, 3 minus 0 is 3. 7 minus 8 cannot be. So, ito ay magiging 17. So, ito ay magiging 1. So, 17 minus 8 is 9. So, 93 degrees. So, meaning, meron pa tayong kulang na 93 degrees. So, ang gagawin lang po ay, babalik na rin lang natin yung ating protractor. Then, itapat lang natin yung pinaka-vertex dito sa pinaka-gitna. And then, kailangan ay nakatapat sa 0 degrees. Yan. Ngayon, kukuhanin natin yung 93 degrees. So, dito tayo titingin sa may pinaka-inner scale. 
or sa may outer scale rather so etong 0 10 20 so etong pinaka gitna niya ito yung 93 a uh, 90 degrees so kukuha lang tayo ng 3 units so 1 2 3 and then i-mark natin using point Again, since ito na yung 180 degrees, so nandito pa siya sa ilalim, meron pa siyang karugtong na angle. Ibig sabihin, i-continue lang natin yung 180, de uh, 180 degrees, wherein isinubtract natin, ang kulang na lang ay 93 degrees para makapag-form tayo ng reflex angle. And then, i-connect natin yung dalawang points. Ayan. So, simula dito... Hanggang dito. So, ang measurement nan ay 273 degrees. Okay? Halimbawa, ito ay angle B. So, we can say that measure angle B equals 273. Or, angle B equals to 273 degrees. So, that concludes our lesson about drawing an angle using a protractor. So, I hope that you learned something today. Uh, don't forget to like and share this video and see you on our next video lesson. Bye!